Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about an assignment problem in brute force uh, approach in design analysis of algorithms. So first understand what is an assignment problem. Then we'll solve through a simple example. So what is an assignment problem? So we have n number of persons and we have also n number of jobs with us. So the problem is how we are going to assign these n number of jobs to n number of persons in such, such a way that we will get very less cost. So what is the constraint we have in this problem? So we cannot uh, give the same job more than one person. So this is a problem and these are the constraints given for us to solve this particular problem. So now what is a brute force approach? It is a straightforward approach. So we are going to check all the possibilities. We start with the first person and try to assign a first job with him and we can alternate uh, the remaining jobs to the other three persons. Like that, uh, we have to check all the possibilities. Among of all possibilities, and which we will get the less cost and that is our solution. So let's solve this problem. So for example, this is a problem given for us. So now you can see here four persons and uh, four different kinds of jobs. So here uh, the jobs are represented with J1, J2, J3, J4 and the person's name with the person 1 to person 4. And you can see here uh, uh, the corresponding row and column of person and job is represented the cost. So let us uh, see, for example, if person one is assigned with job one, the cost of that particular job is nine. See, for example, for person three, for assigning job three, now the cost of job is one. So like that, the corresponding row and column represents to which job is assigned to which person, what will be the cost? So before we are going to check all possibilities, we have to construct one uh, cost matrix. So like this. So here you can consider all the persons and here you can consider all jobs and you can place the corresponding row and column. Now you can see, you can easily understand this cost matrix. And now we start uh, solving the problem. So for uh, first, what I said, we start with, like uh, we assuming that uh, if we assign the first job to the first person, okay, then what will be the cost of uh, uh, the jobs? when we alternate the remaining persons with different kind of jobs. And you have to remember every time the constraint in your mind. What is the constraint? The same job is not going to assign for more than one person, right? So you have to keep that in your brain. So let's start here. So see, for example, this is a first possibility. Like if I assign a first job, Right, so because of that, in every possibility, I fixed the first job to the first person. Now, this is represented for person one, person two, person three, and person four. And he, here, these are the job positions, like first job, second job, third job, and fourth job. So what this angular bracket representation will say, suppose if I assign first job to first person, second job to second person, third job to third person and fourth job to fourth person, right? So now we are going to find out the cost. So just we go back once and we'll see all the things. See here, if I assign first job to the first person, what will be the cost? Nine, okay? If I assign second job to second person, what will be the job is four. If I assign third job to third person, what will be the cost? One. If I assign fourth job to fourth person, then what will be the cost? Four. So how are you going to find out the cost? It will be nine plus four plus one plus four. So what it is, it is 18. Right. So in that way, you're getting this. Right. Nine plus four plus one plus four. The total weight is 18. So if you assign in this manner, right, you get the, the cost as 18. So what we are doing here, so if I assign 
mean i already said in this first possibility i'll take the first person i fix the job one and now i'm going to change these possibilities for the person two to person four so now here you can see uh, two four three is one combination three two four is another combination three four two is another combination four two and three is another combination and four three and two is another combination so what is the meaning of this here i'm assigning first job to person one third job to person three and fourth job to person three and second job to person two see suppose for example one three four two how you're going to take a cost so one is this position three means i'm going to assign third job to the second person one three right which combination we are checking here one three four two so for example one three four means for the third person we are going to assign fourth job and then the person four is going to assign with second means six so nine plus three is twelve and twelve plus eight is the twenty and twenty plus six is twenty six so what is the cost of uh, taking a combination one three four two is twenty six see here one three four two is here it is see here twelve twenty six you can say this is 26, right? So in that way, we are going to take a cost of each and every job position and we have to find out the total cost for that combination. So this is for the first person. And now what we are going to do, that is our assumption only, right? If we assign the first job to the first person, what will be the cost if you alternate the remaining persons? The same idea we are going to apply uh, for the remaining also. Suppose if I change my first person job, what will be the alternatives I may get? That is, if I fixed the first person with the second job. Okay. And what are the remaining possibilities I have? 1, 3, 4, 1, 4, 3, 3, 1, 4, 3, 4, 1, 4, 1, 3, 4, 3, 1. Right? I hope you understand. So, in second case, what we are doing? We are going to change the first person job because we are fixing that position so what i'm here i'm doing is now i am going to take the second job to the first person and then i'm going to change the remaining person's jobs with the different possibilities and i'm going to check the cost of each and everything so i hope you all understand how i'm going to take this two six eight and nine see here, I'll explain you one more time uh, for this combination. Let's maybe move on. So, here we are taking 2, 1, 4, 3. So, 2, 1, 4, 3. So, for person 1, second job. For person 2, first job. For person 3, fourth job. And for person 4, which job? 2, 1, 4. So, obviously, 3. So, now this. So, what we can say 2 plus 6, 6 plus 8, and 8 plus 9. So, this is a combination we are taking. And now, you can see the same job is not going to assign for anyone. Right? So, what is the cost is 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16 plus 9 is 25. So, if I take that possibility, so now I am getting the cost is 25. I hope you understand how I'm, uh, I calculated this, uh, all these costs. And for the third possibility, what I'm going to do, now I'm fix uh, the first person job with three. Okay, if we assign the third job to the first person and we are going to change uh, the positions uh, and the jobs of the all the remaining persons, then again, we are getting different, different kind of cost. So, here you can see, here I'm going to assign 2, 3, 1, 4. Okay, so 2, 3, 1, 4. What is the meaning of this? The first person is going to assign with the third job and the second person assigned with second job and third person is assigned with the first job and fourth person is assigned with fourth job. So, 3, 2, 1, 4. We'll check that combination. So, 3, 2, 1, 4. So, 3, 2, 
one and four. So now you're going to add seven plus four plus five plus four. So what is the value? It is 20. Okay, what is the value? It is 20. Okay, see, three, two, one, four. So in that way, we check the last possibility also because we have four uh, jobs. So now in fourth possibility, what I'm going to check if I am going to assign the fourth job to the first person, right? Fourth job to the first person. And then I'm going to change all the remaining persons with different kind of jobs. What is the cost I'm getting? So now in the same way, we are finding the cost of all possible jobs. So now we are getting these values. So I hope you all understand how we are getting these values from your cost matrix. So among of all, so what we need, what is the solution we want? So after assigning a job to each and every person and we need less cost. So now you can see the minimum is here in this possibility is 20, right? The minimum is 20. And in this possibility also the minimum is 20. And here you can see the minimum is 13. So, and then here you can see what is the minimum? The minimum is 18. So now you're getting four values here. For every possible combination, we are getting different, different minimum values. In first possibility, I'm getting the minimum value as 18. In the next possibility, I'm getting the minimum value as 13. And next possibility, I'm getting the minimum value as 20. And the last possibility also, I'm getting the minimum value as 20. So among of all, 13 is a minimum. So I consider that will be the best case right to assigning that particular job to that corresponding person will give you a less cost or will give you a minimum cost so what is the solution it is 2134 so what is the mean of 2134 now you are going to assign second job to the person one okay now you are going to assign second job okay to person one and first job to person two, and then third job to person three, and fourth job to person four. If we assign like this, among of all possibilities, we are getting a minimum solution. So at last, this is your solution. Thank you.